Hey you guys, um, so this is a flashback for you guys because this is um, the day before for you guys but same day as me. So it's like a flashback if that makes any sense. Basically the vlog you're watching was the day, my the planting was yesterday but you're watching it today. So it's a flashback. I don't know if that makes any sense. But I just wanted to separate this because I wanted to have like a video kind of, um, you know, where there's a few minutes that I'm talking about my plants so that I can tell you guys what I'm doing. And then as the summer goes, then, you know, like you'll, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated basically. So I wanted to show getting these started. So Adrian, Adrian um, had bought me these Jiffy strips, which are going to be, um, there's 32 containers in it. So there's eight on each strip and then there's four. So yeah, so that's 32. So these are going to just be the holders for starting them out once they kind of um, grow and they're getting to a point where they can be transplanted. I'll trans transplant them. But obviously for right now, I have to do them in this. Um, so I also got seed starting potting mix just from Miracle Grow. So this is what I bought for it. Um, I have my seeds all here. I'll tell you guys what I'm doing as well because I don't know if I ever told you guys that. My little grocery list. Apparently what I'm going to be doing with what I am doing um, is two different types. There's going to be a moisture lovers um, group, like a grouping and then um, there's Mediterranean grouping. So I am doing cat grass, obviously for Rosie and potentially for Thelma. Um, this and something else I'm not really sure about doing, I'm gonna kind of maybe ignore it right now, but um, Adrian wanted me to do jalapenos, so I have that. And then he also wanted me to do cucumbers, so I have that too. So then the normal, um, like the regular herbs and everything, I'm doing, this came as a pack, it's an Italian herb garden, and so it's parsley, thyme, oregano, and basil, and um, got those in one, and then I have rosemary, lavender, and cilantro, so yeah. So this is going to be interesting. I haven't planted anything like ever, or I did when I was like two. I don't know. Yeah. This will be interesting basically is what I'm trying to tell you guys. So I'll update you um, <laughs> as soon as I can once I get myself together. So welcome to my garden, summer 2018. Okay, so I'm starting to actually plant them um, in these like starter things. I don't know where my Sharpie went. Um, oh, found it. Um, so I literally just started, I just put the basil in. Um, it comes with, I mean, maybe 25 seeds max, and they're small. Um, so I, like, have all of the soil in or whatever, and I put the seeds in, and then I covered it. I'm going to write, like, on each one um, what they are, and I think I'm going to do, for the herbs, just the herbs, I'm going to do three... Um, three separate areas of, or three separate pieces of, um, or separate holes or whatever, whatever it's called. Um, each one will get three, so I have a higher chance of kind of like actually growing them, so just in case something happens. Um, yeah, so here we go. So I'm also like multitasking big time because I'm in queue for um, for a live chat with Norwegian um, Airlines or whatever because we have to figure out sending medical supplies over um, is free. Like if I have to send my bag bags of fluids. Um, on the, the flight because it's a medical type thing I don't have to pay for it um, but I'm not finding any information about how to get that set up so 
I need to talk to somebody about it so that we can get this set up. So. definitely going into this. I just don't know what size and what color. There is like five or six different colors. I don't know which one to get. I'm thinking maybe gray, but doing the green would be pretty cool too. So not sure what I'm doing yet. They're 30% off. Hey, you guys. Man, what a night. <laughs> I know you guys can't see me. What a day, actually. Um, I'm gonna hang out with Allie and I'll update you guys soon. So I'm just warning you guys <laughs> that the rest of the video is just gonna be me crying. So if you don't wanna see that, <laughs> then just click out of this. Um, and it would be an easier thing for me to just not even talk to you guys, but I'm going to talk to you anyway. Um, I just don't know what to do. Look at all. <laughs> and before my grandma got this bad, I've been telling you guys, but before my grandma got this bad, I've been really struggling. And I feel like I'm suffocating. And today, this morning, I, I was trying so hard to get out of bed. And my mom gave me pain medication and she gave me pain medication in the middle of the night last night because I was having that really bad pain that I've been like complaining about in my body and because of the nature of the pain it was more comfortable for me to sleep on the floor and then sleep in my bed so she woke me or like she walked in on me laying on the floor asleep uh, in the morning and um I got more pain medication and I was able to force myself out of bed. We went to a place where I had a, like a laser hair um, removal thing that she's been doing. And um, because we were actually we were in Hicksville, which is the town that Adrian lives in, um, we we decided to go to the mall because the mall was very close. It's a lot closer to him than it is to us. And um, so we went there. I got, surprisingly, I got new shoes. And we went to area again and I got leggings and it was really nice. But so we came home and I got dropped off at my other grandma's and fell asleep when I was at my other grandma's. And got woken up to, um, my grandma telling me I needed to wake up because my sister was here to to get me. So, so I um, I woke up. I had to wake up really suddenly and then pull myself like pull myself together and then get in the car and come here. And then I like laid down for two minutes when I was here. And then we had to like, leave to go pick my dad up. And directly after I'm getting him from the train station, we had to go. The nursing home my grandma's at um 
And then we were there for like two hours and she was a lot better today than she was yesterday, which is really good, but um, it doesn't mean anything because in this state people will switch back and forth pretty easily. Um, and so me and Adrian are going to go see her tomorrow because she always asks about him. I'm one of 13 grandchildren. My dad has two brothers, they're twins, and a sister. He's the youngest of four, the sister's the oldest, and um, he was an accident. <laughs> um, my aunt is 13 years older than my dad, and my uncles are 11 years older than my dad. And um, <laughs> I have a lot of family in Florida, my aunt being one. One of the people, um, the last time she saw my grandma was June of last year. She has pretty severe health problems though, so um, I understand obviously getting up here is an issue, which it, of course, like, you know, if your health is bad, don't, you know, you can't, to an extent, you can only push yourself so much, but we got her. Um, on a video chat with my aunt, my aunt was able to buy t plane tickets for Wednesday to come up. Um, and, um, we video chatted with one of her daughters, um, but like I was saying, we're one of 13 grandchildren. Ellie is the youngest at 19, and the oldest is, um, my cousin who is 40, 48, um, and my dad's 57, so, um, he was only nine when he was born, um, and Ellie's the youngest, so all my cousins are in their 30s or 40s pretty much. And, um, you know, my family, like, her children are telling their, their kids and their grandchildren that, um, that she's dying and nobody's, obviously nobody's taking it. Well, we have a really good family. Um, we don't have really any issues between anybody at all, which is difficult. <laughs> it's hard to believe. Um, but then they, like, I saw my, the manager at Bath and Body Works and she wanted me to work this weekend, but because of my seizures, I can't drive. And I think what I'm going to do is just go to Adrian's tomorrow night and then stay with him until I work on Saturday and figure out how to get home. Uh, but now we're, we have to open up our house to a lot of the people that, that are going to be coming in and out. We have to kind of open our house. And my, one of my uncles has to open their house basically to people stopping by. Um, and it's just a lot to take in. And today I really... I really tried to push myself because things are bad with her. And I took I took pain medication in the morning and I didn't take it again until nine. It's twelve fifteen now. Um, um and when we got home from seeing her before I take the medication I was like laying down on my floor again in, in the kitchen though this time because of how much pain I was in and my parents got me to go upstairs to my room and I laid down and they're like, they're saying here like you're torturing yourself if you try to stay down here and so I took the medication and I went to, I went to my room and laid down and you know really tried to go the day pretending that I wasn't I wasn't having problems, but like it, it hit me really badly at night. And it's just upsetting because we're going to France and it's going to be a good trip, but um, there's a lot that goes into it when you have poor health. Um, and I've just been crying off and on today because but I've been hiding it, except for like the one time or two times when we were in the nursing home. She's just very, she's confused, but then we were talking about memories and she was smiling, so 
Um, that's what we're telling my cousins to do. Also, uh, so 13 grandchildren. She has like 15 great grandchildren, so we have a pretty big family. Um, so, I don't know when this is going to happen. I don't know what to expect. Um, I'll take you guys with me on it, but I feel like I have a lump in my throat. Stop crying. I have a lump in my throat, but. There's just too much going on at once, and then we're trying to, I have to do my resume and, and look at jobs, and that on top of my health, on top of my grandma, on top of, you know, preparing my, my trip is just like, it's like I don't know what to do, I don't know what's going on, and I'm just still trying to get through the videos um, that I haven't uploaded, but I'm going to do that now, actually until I go to sleep and I'll try to like stretch too but I just wanted to be completely open and really just tell you guys everything um, so that's everything so I'll see you guys tomorrow don't know what tomorrow is going to be like but I'll see you guys tomorrow